Hello there. Welcome to another Sandfox tutorial. Today I'm going to help you set up your feed page. Your feed page is attached to your smart page which, depending on your settings, can contain the email newsletters you have sent and your content from your social media like Twitter, Instagram and YouTube, your articles in your blog and even your podcasts. It's like a page that consolidates all the great things you do on the internet. Sounds cool, huh? Let's get started. To enable your feed page, the first thing we need to do is create a smart page. We have a separate video that helps you set up a smart page in Sandfox. Check out the link above or in the description box below. Before we continue with your smart page, let me show you how you can select which newsletters or emails you want to showcase on your smart page. Log into your Sandfox account. Go to emails. If you have not created a newsletter as of yet, create one now. We have a video link in the description box below to help you with this. At the bottom of your email editor, you should see tags. Tags are like categories of your email newsletters. I'll explain to you later why tags are important here. Tags can only be created inside the email editor. You can create custom tags in addition to the default tag, landing page. Add them by typing that tag in this field. Sendfox will remember them from here on out. This will be shown in the drop-down table that you can select from. Click the small X on it to remove it. Let's say you have not created anything yet. Let's enter dogs. Assuming that this newsletter is about pets, specifically for dogs. You can add as many tags as you want in this field to suit your needs. Save the email and send it to your list. Once the email is sent, Sendfox will remember the newsletter and add it to the tag or tags you have created. Remember that only sent newsletters will be added to the feed. Unscheduled newsletters will never appear there. Now let's go to your smart page. Click on Smart Pages. Scroll down to the bottom of this page and check Enable Feed Page. Then select the tags you want linked to the feed page. This will be the tags you have created in your newsletter. You can select one or more tags here. By selecting the tags, you are telling Sendfox to include all newsletters that have these tags. Meaning if you have sent three newsletters and were tagged dogs, cats and birds accordingly, then added dogs, cats and birds in the tags field in your smart page, this smart page will take those three newsletters and add them to your feed page. Make sense so far? Hmm, maybe not. Let me show you what I mean. I have newsletter 1 here that is tagged dogs. And newsletter 2 is tagged cats. Newsletter 3 is tagged birds. In my smart page, let me just add dogs and cats omitting birds. When I access my feed page and click on newsletters, I will only have newsletters 1 and 2 because the tag birds was not added into the settings. I hope that's clearer. Now let me back up a little bit. Notice that there was a link at the bottom of my smart page that led me to my feed page. This link only appeared because of the following conditions. I added my tags in the newsletter. I enabled my feed page. And I added tags in the smart page settings. This is the link to your feed page. This link appears below the form of your smart page as let me read first. So what about your blog, podcasts, and social media feeds? Your feed page once active will only add social media feeds if you have set up your web presence. Follow me. Log into your Sandfox account. Click settings, then click on web presence. Add your blog, podcast, and YouTube URL here. Be sure to enable them. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and set up your social media accounts. Click Update Social Profiles to save the changes. Now that completes the feed page setup. This is what your feed page looks like. Here you will see the menu on the side. Home consolidates all the contents. Newsletters contain all your sent newsletters. If you click on Read More on one of the newsletters, you will see what the newsletter looks like in the feed. You can share your newsletter on Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, LinkedIn, 
WhatsApp on a mobile device, or email. You can also copy the URL of the newsletter by clicking this. Your readers can comment on the newsletter in this feed. Of course, you can delete comments at your discretion. You will be notified via email of any comments made on your newsletter feeds. Moving on. Twitter and Instagram would contain contents from those sources. The subscribe button here triggers the opt-in form that came with the smart page. Notice the reCAPTCHA logo here? reCAPTCHA is automatically enabled on smart pages to protect you from spam attacks. And that's it. For more information, please visit our help section here or send us an email at support at sendfox.com. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to be the first to see our newest videos and tutorials. Show us some love by liking this video and I'll see you in the next one.